Being a new parent, it may feel like all you do these days is feed, change diapers, and if you're lucky, nap while baby sleeps. While it may appear that your baby cannot do much, it is never too early to begin playing with your child. When it comes to the best baby toys, your child may not be ready to kick a soccer ball or put together a puzzle, but there are plenty of fun ways to engage with her that will have long-term benefits for her physical and mental development. It's a myth that newborns can't play, even if they don't appear to be doing anything yet, they are still taking in everything, say experts. From cognitive and physical development to emotional and social growth, the importance of play is undisputed. Playing is a wonderful method for parents and other caregivers to build that crucial bond with their newborn, and sensory stimulation improves cognitive development. How much a baby enjoys a game you play with them relates directly to how much time and effort you put into it. A baby's development doesn't take place in isolation. The materials, experiences, and opportunities for practice that a newborn receives play a significant role in whether or not they reach important milestones and develop new abilities. Making the most of your infant's awake times and preparing them for crucial early learning are both made possible by choosing toys and activities that correspond to what your child is ready to work on. You must choose toys that allow your baby to practice and hone new skills because younger babies can't exactly go up to the toy bins and choose something that catches their attention. Not sure where to begin. Not to worry. The greatest developmental infant toys, for each age and stage, are discussed in the following sections, along with ideas for age-appropriate play. Select safe, simple toys for your newborn that encourage curiosity and spontaneous play. During your baby's first six months, toys like rattles and other gripping toys, balls, activity gyms, and board books are excellent for promoting developmental milestones. Let us now check age-appropriate toys that can be used starting from when your baby is few days old. Although your baby may appear to be very comfortable in the sling or bouncer, it's still crucial to incorporate opportunities for movement throughout his day. While it's easy to imagine that, our cuddly babies only need a warm area to lay and watch the world go by, study finds that what they really need is time and space to wiggle, stretch and strengthen their bodies in order to accomplish those mini milestones of early growth. Starting tummy time in the early weeks of life is encouraged, because the sooner you start, the better your baby will likely accept it. Try putting a receiving blanket on a flat, solid surface, or a close family member's chest or lap. Baby won't yet lift his head to look ahead, but you might see him do so for a limited period of time while turning his head to the side or keeping it down. For a very young infant, this position is natural and beneficial. Baby may turn his head to look at your face or a high contrast black and white object placed close to his eyes approximately 8 to 12 inches away, even though he won't yet track moving objects. While on his back, he may also slowly turn toward the sound of a familiar voice or a shaking rattle. Many play mats include a slew of toys to hang overhead, but these can be overstimulating for a newborn. For the time being, Remove the clip-on overhead toys and place the mat on top of a rug to create a clean, comfortable environment for tummy time practice. One of the first senses to develop in a baby is hearing, and music may both relax and stimulate. Sing to her yourself or play some calming music. At this age, a mother's voice will be her favorite and most recognizable. Since babies don't start to really see color until about three months of age, look for a mobile that has high contrast, black and white decorations. Even if they don't understand fully what they are seeing, babies adore gazing in the mirror. Your child's vision can be improved, and they can have a lot of fun during tummy time 
by having a baby safe mirror without glass propped up in front of them. You'll notice that the baby is holding his head steadier and higher as tummy time continues in the second month. He would be able to lift his shoulders and upper chest by the end of third month. If he turns his head too far, he'll probably roll over a few times unintentionally. You may also notice baby kicking a lot while lying on his back. This helps strengthen the belly muscles needed to eventually roll over. Baby may begin to deliberately reach for and grip toys, but the ability to let go of things has not yet fully developed. Offer some healthy stimulation because at this period, babies are relying on their senses, sight, hearing, touch, and scent to find their way around the unfamiliar world around them. Linkable plastic rings and lightweight crinkle toys help a two- or three-month-old baby practice grasping. A mirror, fastened securely to the inside of the crib allows baby to look at his face, which will become increasingly fascinating to him as he approaches the three-month mark. At this stage, baby is preoccupied with coordinating his developing senses, such as sight and touch, and motor skills, such as rolling and grasping. During tummy time, baby will start pressing up, first through his forearms, then straight arms, all in preparation for sitting up, and eventually, crawling. Baby's interest in faces and other circular patterns, such as spirals and bullseyes, increases as their eyesight develops. Babies between the ages of four and five months are also beginning to learn cause and effect, so he may begin to shake noisy toys, think rattles, and bring them to his mouth. Teething toys. Although teething usually begins at six months, gum pain may start sooner. Some parents may even start to see pearl-like buds poking through as early as three or four months. Rattles. Next time you see baby playing with a rattle, make note of how she exercises her hand grip and arm strength while shaking it around, and also baby will feel delighted in her discovery that shaking this toy creates a sound. Soft toys that make sounds. Simple, lightweight objects like soft blocks or balls work well for babies discovering cause and effect. Bonus points if the toys have tags or flaps that make them easy to hold. Rolling a soft ball to your four-month-old baby and placing toys about 12 inches in front of them will help them develop skills such as reaching and hand-eye coordination. Between four and seven months, baby is working on sitting independently. Once baby can sit without needing to put her hands in front of her, called tripoding, she'll be free to use those hands to play with toys and, hopefully, entertain herself for short periods of time, but remember, never leave baby unattended. If she's still sitting with support, you can encourage her to strengthen her trunk muscles by putting toys in front of her and encouraging her to reach for them. Books. Board books and cloth books are not only the right size for little hands, they are also practically indestructible. Stackable cups. Along with helping baby practice hand-eye coordination, these developmental toys can be used to teach baby about object permanence, the concept that items continue to exist even when you can't see them. You can hide smaller items under the cups and then make a game of lifting the cups up for the reveal. Just keep an eye out for anything that could pose a choking hazard. Easy to hold balls. Hollow balls with holes will be easy to hold, so baby can continue to refine his grasping skills. By now, many babies are crawling and starting to pull themselves into a standing position in preparation for cruising, aka moving alongside furniture while holding on and walking. Your little one might also be mastering the act of picking up small objects between the thumb and index finger, known as the pincer grasp. At this age, babies are starting to use their memory recall and understand simple instructions. 
They are also able to tolerate more stimulation. Play kitchen items. Babies love to explore at this age. If you have the space, consider dedicating a lower kitchen cabinet to things she can play with, so she can open it and empty it on a whim. Household items such as egg cartons, cereal boxes, and plastic food containers are practically a guaranteed good time. Activity tables. With their sturdy, supportive legs and array of colorful buttons, these are ideal for entertaining a baby who's just learned to stand. That's all in this video. We'll meet you in my next video with more exciting content. If you liked today's video give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Meanwhile, do check out our other videos. Happy parenting!